Hello. Welcome to my Lime Guide. My name is Ivan. So today I'm going to show you how I play Lime. So what is Lime all about? She is a very solid and honest rushdown character that has plus frames, but there's gaps around her plus frames, but we can condition our opponent to enforce those plus frames. She has also good zoning, good anti-airs, and you know, good airspace control. As of now, she's like the only unique character that has this unique airspace control. I will go over everything, like her best buttons and her and her special moves. I've seen her compared to Ryu in Street Fighter a lot. Like she has this fireball, she has an uppercut, you know, solid rush down. Okay. So I will show the B and B combos first, and then we'll go over her best buttons, her special moves, her fatal blow, and all that stuff. So we're going to be pairing with the Scorpion cameo. I believe that's her best cameo because I feel like she already has good neutral on her own. So Scorpion camera amplifies the damage, okay? So, yes, without further ado, here are the BNB combos.
Right, hope you enjoyed that bread and butter combo showcase right there. Those are the best combos that I found with lime and scorpion. Okay, so now let's move on to our best buttons. Right, so starting off, we got one, two, or one, two, four. One, two is plus two on block, so you can go for a down one if they're pressing. Okay, so you can do one, two if they're expecting a down one, you can grab, or you can just stagger the single one and then you know, grab, or you know, you can do one or one, two, and then, and then one, two, four, and then you know, if you're gonna hit, it'll lead to some other stuff. I'll explain the poking pressure later, we'll just go over the best buttons first. So that is 1, 2 or 1, 2, 4. And you know, on hit, it leads to a full combo right here. Okay, with Scorpion, as you can see from the BNB video guide, it's a full combo. Right, so that's 1, 2 and 1, 2, 4. All right, next up we got 2-1 or 2-1-4. Two, 2-1-4 one, four. Two, one, four is plus, okay, plus 6. So you now you can go to your other stuff, uh, the mids right here, or you can go for a poke right here, which I will go over. On hit, 2-1 leads to a full combo. Okay, so you know you can continue that with Scorpion. So yes, 2-1. And by the way, that 1-2 uh, is 7 frames, but you know, Ideally, you wouldn't want it to use it to punish because like sometimes if you block like something huge like a radar and electric fly like this ain't gonna cut it at this range so you want to punish with something else, you know So yeah, 2-1, it has a longer range Goes further So 2-1-4 This right here, you can continue the combo with Scorpion Yeah, I think you can get a, you can get a Sky Lantern here yeah. Yep, you can. I, I showed it in my in my BNB combo video. Okay, and I gotta touch on the BNB stuff. This is just the this is just like the the moves, you know, like what are the best buttons. Now 214 here, it's plus, you know, you can go for your mids or your pokes, you know, for more hit advantage, okay? But that's the problem right here. 214, that's a gap. Huge gap actually. So if your opponent res respects this gap, you know, you can go for a plus frames. If they don't, you can stop here, wait for them to press something, you know, or if they're expecting the plus frame, grab. Okay, that's like the main game plan. She has plus frames, but you know, it's not on demand plus frames. It's plus frames that, you know, you need to have like enforce, you know, like, if they're respecting this, then only you get the plus frames. It's not like some characters where you get on-demand plus frames. So yes, be careful when throwing out this. You know, you can throw it out at, at the round, see what your opponent does. And then, you know, you can condition accordingly. Alright, next up, we got standing 4. A 4 3 one, 2 A 4 3. Okay. So 4 3 one, 2 is a down in string. You can press it immediately. Standing 4 by itself on block, plus 3. 4, 3, 1, 2, it's minus 5, so it's safe, okay? It's uh, 1 high with 3 mids. So ideally, you don't want to punish with this string right here, okay? You block something huge, you can punish it with 4, 3, you can go into a full combo right here. My that one up, but you know, you can refer to the BNB combo section for all the BNB stuff, okay? So if I'm hit, you know, plus 9. Can go into one two, or you know, can go into something huge like a battery, four four, pop in, all that good stuff. Okay, so yep, okay. that's one of your main buttons to work your plus frame offense. So yes, on to the next move. There's also four three four. This is plus three, but you know it hits high mid high though. So I mean I don't use it a lot. It's uh kind of obvious anyways like this uh, high I'd rather stagger into something else or go for this uh, safe mid right here but you know you can condition your opponent into ducking this if they even know it's a high okay so if they try to duck it you know you can go for something huge like a 4-4 or like you know 
one two stagger all that good stuff fucking so you know work around it see what your opponent does so yeah four three four plus three on hit i think you can get a scorpion uh flame right here yeah i'm pretty sure you can yeah time it though yep you can you can go for some meat less damage right here uh, time it just right here. So, yeah, this combo is not a B and B. It's not. It's not ideal, you know. Let's go for four three one. And, you know, you can go for a full combo that way. Right. On to the next move. Next up is back two or back two one. Back two is special cancelable, so you can do back two back four one. Okay. So. You can do this, you know. Honestly, I'm much more of a safer player, so I don't go for this one that often, you know. But if they do, if you do 434 and they do duck the high, okay, you do condition them to duck the high in the ID, you can do 43, duck the high, back one, back two, back four, one into four combo. So yeah. So yes, condition them, work around it, see what your opponent does. Next up, we got back three, or back three four. Back three on block, plus three, can enforce your plus strings. Back three four, and it's plus seven. So yeah, more plus strings to work around with. Now back three four, it has a gap. They can armor through this, and you know, some characters can launch you for it. So if they are armoring through this, and you can block that armored move and punish, or you know you can just stagger the trap press and do a one two or back three grab. All right. So on hit, you can get a full combo. The scorpion right here. Yep. So yes, you can refer to my BNB combo section for that full combo. Right. So that's back three or back three four. Now next move is four three four three hits overhead and. You now leaves them at a quite a far position for you to zone. So you, if you want to close a round out, you don't want to do anything risky right here. You don't want to go for your plus frames and end up getting hit. You can just go for a tree and then you know zone them to death. So yes, for a tree can be cancelled also. So you can like hold for a tree and then you know she'll do this. So yeah, but you know they can anti air you through this. So don't spam it. You know throw it out once in a blue moon see what they do so yes that's forward three and you know you can mix it up with the next move we're going to talk about now next move we're going to talk about is forward four or forward four four or forward four three forward four three launches the opponent for full combo here so yes you can refer to my bnb combo guide for actually, you know what? I want to address this. This combo right here. Like, uh, ideally, you want to do the three kicks, one, three, four into a down back four. But you know, if you're not sure, because sometimes this will miss, you know. And if you don't want to miss the card wheel, you can just do one three into a down back four. You're just losing ten damage right here. Better than whiffing this card wheel and getting whip punish. Now, on block, on 4 3, double digit minus, death on block basically. For 4 4, you can, there's a safe follow up, you know. If you're not sure, just do 4 4 4. Or if you're, if you're really cashing out, you can do 4 4 into a down back one. And this will launch your opponent. Right. And you can mix it up with 4-3 also. Like, you can cancel this and then go for 4-3. You know, condition your opponent, see what they do. But you want to do it at this range right here. You want to do it far enough where they can't poke you and long enough where your 4-4 four four will hit. So yeah. So do it at this range, mid distance. Now, mix them up. Now, on to the special move section. Perhaps the most important special move is this down back two, Sky Lantern. 
when this sky lantern is up no jumping allowed here if they do jump it's a full combo right here no depending on the height you can get another sky lantern and you know into this uh, combo right here yeah then you can do a one three four into into the sky lantern again you can only hit three sky lanterns two sky lanterns in a combo the third one won't launch no I try to do another one there, but I, I think I press it too too fast. Yeah, if you want something simple, you know, you can just go for like a... If they do pop up like this, you can just go for this. You know, simple meatless damage. And it's uh, extra damage, right? Or, you know, if you feel like you can catch out, you can do something like this. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> probably two kicks will be safer right there. Yep, you know, you guys seen the BNB combo section, you should know how to convert off of that. So, yes, this guy lantern, and, and you know, even if you're like zoning, and they're not jumping a lot, just put this out, out there, you know, it doesn't hurt. Builds meter also, you know, just threaten this guy lantern all the time, unless, you know, you're dealing with a scorpion teleport or like a, like a radar electric fly. Now just throw this out there. Just keep once you establish your zoning dominance, just throw it out. So just just see what they do. And then you know you hit like something like this, you know the sky lantern would hit. Yeah, you can set up like this. And, you know, you go for something like this. For five percent, not too shabby right there. Yep, so that's the sky lantern on to the next move. All right, one more thing here about the Sky Lantern. If the Sky Lantern is above your opponent, okay, and you know, I wouldn't recommend this, but you know, you can do this and then they'll pop up. You can do an air, air fireball and then you know, it'll pop up like this. But yeah, very situational. Ideally, you want to have this thing like threatening your opponent's airspace. So, you know, but you know, it's something you can do. Just. You know, I'll put that out. And you know, you can probably combo off of this. Yeah, you can. I mean, you're basically forcing your, forcing the Sky Lantern off of the, on your opponent. Yeah. So yes. On to the next move for reals. Next move we're gonna talk about is back for one. Fireball, very good projectile right here. That's a good hitbox or so. And you know, when you have this Sky Lantern up and then you're blasting this projectile, it's a very difficult situation for your opponent to be in. Okay, they'll get antsy, they want to get in, they'll probably jump and hit this guy lantern or so. So yes, very, very good move right here. And you know, it's your main combo extender. You can convert here. Now with Scorpion Cameo, you can get way more. That's not the optimal actually, this is the optimal. If meterless, I mean if no, no Scorpion Cameo. Yeah, you, you ideally you want to do a 1-3-4 into a down back. I'm back four. All right. And one more thing is that the back four one enhance at full screen or at like mid range, you can confirm into a fatal blow here. If it hits, oh, catch your opponent by surprise by this. Yeah, if they ever get hit, damage scale is like okay or so. Like it's, I think it's like 300 or something. Yeah. I mean, if you're at close range like this, sometimes you'll miss, you know. I would recommend to do it at mid-range or full screen. Yeah, and then you know, when you're doing a jab pressure, you can do like, down four. Or you know, if they're pressing in between your plus frames, they're not respecting the plus frames. They're like this uh, 214 right here, if they're expecting a gap, straight away into this fireball, you'll catch them. Yep, then you can convert your full combo right there. You know, you can do like down 4 into back 4 4 so But yeah, they can poke you out of this So yeah, just keep in mind See what, what your opponent does Right Okay, on to the next move Next move we're gonna talk about is back forward 4 You know, this is your main armored move right here If you know your opponent is advancing on you Or you wanna do a wake up armored move, this is the one 
and you know in with the scorpion cami we can convert off of the normal one i can do something like this but you know ideally i would do the next move we're going to talk about off of this string this is uh, situational, yeah. In the corner, you can get a scorpion cameo, the neutral scorpion cameo into a sky lantern because like this one right here, the you won't get a sky lantern. Why am I at full screen here? Give me a second. This one into like it's yeah, sky lantern won't work. You want to do the next move in the combo. So yeah, it's your main armored move and you know it has a cool brutality also like one of my favorite brutalities right here in the game Maybe I'll put a clip in also after this section Congratulations, you played like a pussy the entire game Justice won't prevail Brutality. Playing like it's ranked, it's fucking casual. Wins. On a guy getting real salty. <laughs> After I hit the brutality when I'm learning Li Mei. So, yeah, uh, it's one, two, four. You know, into this, it works. You now can convert off of this. But yeah, mostly yeah, it's like combo ender at some some situations, you know. Now this main armored move here, it's in mid screen. It's not possible to connect with Scorpion cameo. I tried, you know. Trust me, bro. I tried. Can't do it. But in the corner, however, you can. Now you just gotta do it real fast. Do it real fast here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not consistent or so. But you know, it's possible if you time it right. See. Yeah, it's possible. You know, one of those hits just now, but you know, not consistent. You want to use this as a get off me move, not not like a combo extension. I tried it, but let's not waste any time here. This video is already long enough right here. So let's uh, set our friends here back to mid screen. And yep. That's a back forward four. Next move we're gonna talk about is down back three. Down back three, you can extend for some combos right here. You can check my BMB section for like the optimals right there. And you know you can anti air with this move also. Let's set them at like full screen. And then you know you can convert like that. I'll have a separate section for anti airs and jumping attacks. But yeah, and the enhanced version, you can punish pokes with it because the enhanced version comes out at 7 frames. Down ones are minus 8 now, so you know you can punish it. You can punish it if I'm good. Damn it. Yep, that's punish right there. That's not punish, that's counter. Yeah, reversal punish. So you know, and this move on block is death on block, it's minus 23. So be careful when you're punishing folks. Only do it if you're sure, you know, that it will punish like this. All right. And also one more thing here. When the game first launched, I've seen people hit this enhanced one into this scorpion camel right here. Okay. So I don't think it's possible on anybody other than General Shao because the videos that I've seen, it's all on General Shao. So it's either they patched it or it's no longer possible anymore. But yeah, I think it's it, it works on General Shao only. Uh, you know what? Let's check it right now. So I got General Shao right here, spamming them down once. And you know, I try to hit it a few times. It's not possible anymore. I think they fixed this already. Seems kind of OP or so. Like imagine getting poke and you know, taking 40% off of it. So yeah, this is no longer possible. It's not because General Shao is a big boy, but you know, it's just no longer possible anymore. 
I'm doing it as fast as humanly possible. It's, it's not possible. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want to spam this also. It's a uh, death on block. Okay, on the, to the next move right here. Now the last move that I'm going to talk about is down back four. So down back four hits overhead, overhead. Okay, and the, the normal version, the non-enhanced version, you know, it's very minus one block, minus 14 or minus 13. Okay, death on block basically, double digit minus, okay. But the enhanced version is safe. Minus six. You know, sometimes you'll catch people off guard with that last hit also. So yes. And you know, you want to do it instantly also, like off the air like this, you know. Like practice it, doing a jump and instant into down back four. Yeah. And then you know, you can mix them up with forward four three. Like, if they see you do a jump in or you know, if you're doing it correctly, then you know, you'll do it instantly. And you know, you can mix up, mix it up with this. So by itself, the enhanced one just knocks them back. Okay, can get nothing. With the Scorpion cameo can launch for a full combo here. Yep, you can get another down back four here. Yep, thirty-two percent. And you know you can do something like this. Also, it's in my BNB guide. I mean BNB section. Oh, 42 percent two cameo spend and one meter so yeah ideally you want to cash it out like this then you know you can just sit back and zone wait for your cameo meter to refill then you know you can go in for another 42 percent if you do hit this right okay now let's talk about her air attacks her jump two if you want to do a jump in your jump two is the way to go okay if you're doing air to air 2-1-2 two, two into this combo right here it's the most damage I've found for a 7% just because you win an air-to-air -air trade so yeah, you can do something like that and for anti-airs, you can just anti-air with this you know, then you can extend with the Scorpion cameo her jabs are quite, you know, short range it's not a shell standing tool, but you know, it gets a job done no can get an anti air like this. Right. So yes, those are the air attacks and anti air. Right, so why Scorpion cameo specifically for Li Mei? So in my opinion, Scorpion is the best cameo for Li Mei because a new troll with a zoning is already really good. So you really don't need something like a like a Kong Lao cameo to just for that low hat to to strengthen your neutral. If you're good with Li Mei's neutral and her plus frames and pokes, and you know your gameplay is solid, Scorpion is definitely the best cameo. It's like one touch, it's at least 40%. You know, but it's just a simple one. Yeah, so Scorpion is the best cameo in my opinion. And you know, he has this move also. This, uh, I don't use it a lot. I rather use it for the for the for the cameos damage you know for the cameo combos and what else he's got this overhead move that is very very minus on block it's minus 19 on block right here so you know you can do mix up with back three four you know if they are expecting the low but you know throw this out like don't spam this like it's really really minus that they, they can punish you for it like real badly so yes you can do back three into this you can get a follow-up combo like this right here this string right here now you can get something huge like a like a scorpion cameo again this is a very tight combo to hit also but yeah it's in my bnb guide my bnb section right there right so that is and you know sometimes this scorpion like up flame right here it will hit like air opponents uh, yeah it will hit air opponents sometimes so yes scorpion is the best 
All right, so just to recap her game plan right here, at this range, you want to pressure with one, two, and then, you know, if they try to press, you can go for a down one check or down four. I would never go for down three right here because down three is minus eight. Down four, it's safe and it has longer range. And, you know, it's just one frame slower than down three. But yeah, I would always go for down 4 for the low option right here. So you can do 1, 2, down 4, 1, 2, down 1 check. And you know, enforce the fast frame to 2, 1, 4. If they try to poke during the third hit, you can just stop and see what they do. Or they're waiting for the fast frames, grab. And always grab with Lee Mail. So you can stagger like jab into grab. Now you know, 1, 2 into grab if they're waiting for the down 1 check. And do back three at this range. Back three, four. You can more. You can have more plus frames to work with. And you know, if you don't want to take any risks, you want to take the opponent out. You know, like to close out a round or a match. You know, just stay back in zone, right? Don't have to. You no, know, unless they have like good anti-zoning tools. But yeah, you want to keep the pressure on. Okay, with these uh, these offense right here. And if you guys see my shell guide, you will know about the hit advantage poking pressure. Now once you hit a poke, if it's plus 15, you're free to go for a mid right here. Once you hit a poke, immediately go for a mid. You know, or if you're predicting something huge, just go for 4-4. Four, four. You know, down 4 and hit, plus 15, that's a lot. Down 1 and hit should be plus 12. So you're free to jail into one two. So yes, hit advantage and poking pressure. Right. If obviously if they block one of your pokes, you should you should respect it and recognize the situation and take a step back and then you can work your way in again. Right. And do the card wheel often also. And ideally you would want to save the meter and do the do the safe version so that you can convert into combo so because if you just do the regular version you'll get punished for it for like no reward you know and do forward three you know cancel throw this out often and set it up for zoning and yep that's it so yep that is the recap of the game plan right here okay one last thing to add to the game plan right here is down back to the sky lantern make sure it is up at all times just to remind your opponent that you know jumping is allowed and you know you can enforce your low overhead mix like this way or so you know you can get another sky lantern there but yes for some cool meterless damage right here and you know if like 443 like this will hit also five percent so yes you can enforce it that way make sure this up at all times and also all for this down four poke it has a hit advantage of 14 so if you do back two immediately this will jail like back two is her fastest mid it's single hit right here into a knockdown so you know you can do back two into back forward one it is possible to poke in between the in between the the fireball right here okay because this one is a high let's try it real, 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 real quick give me a second but you know you can enforce your your jailing and pass frames that way I'm gonna get hit by this, then I'm gonna block this. It, yeah, it is possible for them to punish you. So, you know, maybe you can just do back 2 1. You can just do back 2 1, see, see if they disrespect this plus frame or not. You know, just condition your opponent. And, you know, if they're really respecting it, just go for back 3 4 for more, for more damage and plus frames. And you know from there you can go for one two and all that good stuff. Alright, that should be everything. Alright, so that concludes the Lime guide. This video should cover all the bases here for you to play Lime. 
okay? And obviously you can try out different cameos as well. Like for me, Scorpion is the best because her neutral is already really good and she has good screen presence, so she doesn't really need anti-zoning, all right? And obviously if there's new tech that came to life, I will make a follow-up guide. But yes, this video should be enough to cover all the bases. Okay, uh, and please like the video <laughs> and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to support my content. And I'll be live streaming most nights as well. I don't have anything going on the next day in the morning. So, yep, hope I can see you in my live stream. And take care. You like that Liu Kang baby? Yeah. I love it baby. I like that Li Mai baby. Thank you baby. Round two, fight! <laughs> 